Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Stamp and Chat. I am Gina from Gina K Designs, and I'm so excited to be with all of you this evening. Today, tonight, we have a very special guest that's going to be joining us for the show. Tom is going to make an appearance. He's actually going to make a card with me tonight. But uh, before we bring Tom in, because he has to monitor to make sure everything's working right and there's a delay, so he has to wait, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we're going to do, just in case you decide that you want to stamp along with us tonight. So tonight, I'm going to show you, we're going to show you a fun technique where you use solid stamps and ink pads, and then you use some water-based markers. So the markers that we're going to use tonight are the Tombow markers. And these are perfect for this technique. I've been using a lot of water-based markers lately. You can also use the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers for this if you want. Or if you have other water-based markers like Distress Markers, they work really well, Stampin' Up! Markers. As long as they're not an alcohol-based marker, this technique will work. So welcome, welcome. I see lots of people coming into the room here on Facebook and on YouTube from all over the country and all over the world. It's great to see all of you guys. We got some good news. It's going up into the 40s for the rest of the week. We're going to have some really nice weather, and I'm kind of excited about that. It's been cold and kind of snowy here in Wisconsin, so we're really looking forward to it. Well, I see lots of you joining us, and um, what a... I guess I, uh, I should probably tell you guys, for those of you that don't know, I know you see all the comments, but it is our anniversary today. Tom and I have been married for 35 years, and um, we thought that it would be super fun to spend it with you guys. So are you, uh, are you ready to join in, Tom? I am. All right. Come on over. I have a spot saved for you right there. Here he <laughs> is. Here's the man. Yay. <laughs> Happy anniversary, 30. Five years. 35, Thirty-five years. Thirty-five. It kind of feels like thirty-five <laughs> years. <laughs> it does. It feels like thirty-five. I, you know, I don't know. It, it. I still feel like I felt when I first married you. Nervous you and <laughs> not no. quite sure it's going to work out. <laughs> no. 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 We're having fun. We're just having like quiet time, right? For the most part today. for our anniversary yeah yeah just quiet time just um enjoying the quiet the qu <laughs> yes 35 yes. is coral is what coral coral yeah really yeah yeah each anniversary like 25 is silver 50 is gold 35 is coral yeah it's often the forgotten kind of in between 25 and 50. yeah so people are just cruising through that and it gets neglected sometimes but it's also jade 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 i think is like the modern i thought it was sheetrock <laughs> for us it's sheetrock sheet rock. <laughs> yeah oh um, advil advil yeah advil is the, <laughs> 35 years it's advil. also emerald i think wow see i know all these things but i didn't get you any none of them yeah that's okay that's all right we decided this year no gifts I don't know if you guys do that too, but we just decide if we need something, we get it, right? You know, you need something. I'm not going to want to wait for, you know, my birthday next year if I need a coat, right? I want to get my coat and then we do nothing for birthdays, anniversaries, any See, of that it's anymore. It's just working out. <laughs> it is. Why do you look so short next Expectations. to me? Expectations. I have to sit up straight. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. Well, welcome, everyone. It's so great to uh, have you all here. Tom is here with me tonight. And are you ready to stamp? Yes. Okay. So Let's one thing stamp. one on. thing that we decided was that um, <laughs> they're yelling at you that you didn't get me a gift. <laughs> Actually, okay. So I will tell you, he did get me a gift. He got me a beautiful gift. He got me a new purse. And um, he got it for me a couple weeks ago. He ordered it and it came early. And so I got a beautiful new purse that I really, really wanted. And I love it so much. So there. And I ordered you a wallet, but it's not here yet. So that's okay. really what our anniversary uh, okay. is going to be. There right? you go. Yeah. yeah. So, but we didn't give each other cards. And you know why? Because we wanted to make each other an anniversary card tonight in the live. Yes. So we're going to do this technique and... I think you guys are gonna 
really like it, but you know what? You've got to go and change the camera again. Mm -hmm. So you got to leave. All right. He's coming right back though. So we're, we're going to go to the overhead shot. I'm going to show you the stamp set that we're going to use. So tonight we're going to be using the forever flowers stamp set. This is a stamp set that my daughter, our daughter, Alicia drew for us. And um, no, and I don't want to be taller than Tom. <laughs> I'd like to be taller than me, but not taller than Tom because Tom's six feet tall and I'm only five feet tall. So I'd like to be somewhere in between. But I guess, yeah, I guess it felt good for just a little bit to, to look like I was tall there. OK, so this is from our brand new Forever Flowers kit. And if you haven't seen that yet, check it out. It's got lots of stamps. It's got tons of dies. It's got two different word and shadow dies and a whole bunch of beautiful card stock. So we're going to use this one tonight and we're going to do a fun technique. Now I'm going to give you this block, Tom, and I'm going to use the round block. And um, let's see here. Let's open this stamp set up. So I had an idea. I thought it would be really cute for me to make a blue card for you and for you to make a pink card for me. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. But do you know, I was reading a little bit about pink and blue and it used to be the opposite. Many, many, many years ago, pink was the symbol for boys and blue was the symbol for girls because pink was more like vibrant and loud and kind of more outgoing and blue was very calm and serene. But somewhere over the years, it changed. So here's a stamp for you. <laughs> How long ago was that? I don't know, like the 1600s. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Was there even pink in the 1600s? Yeah, there was pink. There were always like pink flowers. Right, okay. <laughs> it's not like we invented colors. I thought there was like two colors back then. <laughs> Black and white. Mm -hmm. At least that's what you see on TV, oh, movies, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, you're going to make the pink card. So what we're going to do is we're going to use for Tom, he's going to use Dusty Rose. And then he's going to use this marker. This is Tombow 815. They don't have color names, but I would say that this color looks a lot like passionate pink. 1940s, Karen has it. Pink was for boys, blue was for girls in the 1940s. See, I did read that. I just didn't read the timeline. Thank you for that information, Karen. All right. So I'm going to use sea glass and then I'm going to use marker. Oh no, there's no number. Oh jeepers. Um, let's see if I have another one that's close because sometimes I have doubles and that's only because I forget that I bought the same thing twice. This looks the same. Okay. We're going with this one marker three, seven, three. That's the one I'm going to use. And if that doesn't work, I'll grab that one again. <laughs> couple other markers here, but we're going to use them for leaves. Then we're going to show you how you can also do a two-step stamp with this same technique. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it just by itself, but the two-step is kind of fun to do too. So we'll show you how to use it. <coughs> Pardon me. And no, I'm sorry, we don't sell the Tombow markers, but you can get them at most of your local craft shops would have water-based markers, possibly Tombow. So check your local stores first. Also check, um, you know, some of the great online stores like Simon Says Stamp. I know they have them. And then there's also um, some of the big box stores carry them too. And art supply stores also have them. So it's a pretty easy product to find. And also water-based markers are pretty much everywhere. All right. So here's the technique. What we're going to do is we're going to create a lot of texture on this stamp by first inking it up with the ink pad. Now I'm going to ink this up first and I'm going to stamp this once just to show you what it stamps like by itself. Okay. So there is, how does that look? Well, that has some texture. Well, it does because it's the very first time I've stamped this one, but once I get it inky, it won't have that kind of texture. So we'll try that again. That's a little bit, but that's also because it's a really light color. And once mm -hmm. it dries, it kind of smooths out a bit, but what we're going to do is we are going to ink this up. Let me get my marker ready. I want to make sure this. Oh, that'll work. Okay. So we're going to ink this up with the ink pad. And then I'm going to draw some crisscross lines on it, but I'm going to like brush them so that they're not like perfect like that. And then I'm going to do it the other way like this. Okay. And let's see what that looks like. 
Oh, look how cool that looks. You guys see that? I hope that's not too bright for you guys. Hopefully you can see that texture on there. So I need to, um, to get my tidy towel because I'm gonna clean this after each time I stamp it. And play with it a little bit and see if you can, you know, kind of mess with the, the texture. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna do it again. So this one's gonna be a little bit lighter tech. Ooh, that looks good, Tom. I like that. So this one's a little bit more right? gentle. See that one? Yes, there's there the tidy towel. I have another tidy towel. Way ahead. Well, no. <laughs> I'm to catch up now. <laughs> All right. So this is where I drop. So something. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that flower from you, and you can take this flower from me, and let's do the opposite. All right. I mean, because we want to have more than one kind of flower in our bouquet. Okay. By the way, I'm making you a flower card. All right. And you know, I used to wonder like, oh, do men like flower cards? I mean, are flowers masculine enough? But then I realized that, you know, a lot of the men that I know have beautiful gardens and they really care about their property and they have like, why wouldn't they like flowers? Flowers are for everyone. All right, here we go. I'm doing this one now. Perfect job of rationaliz rationalization there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like flowers? You're Love getting flowers. flowers. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. That looks pretty cool. You're taking your time, and that's good. Mine are, mine's not quite as nice as yours. So I'm just stamping two because I'm going to pick the one I like better. And then I want to show them what it looks like with the two steps. This one's going to be a little bit lighter. I'm not sure which stuff. Ooh, that looks good too. Oh, look at that one. Isn't that cool? All Outrageous. that. Outrageous. I love this. Okay, so before I go on, I want to show you what it looks like to stamp that second layer. So here do I have one of these. Uh no, let's do like a like a little bud. Like do this one. We really want to mix it up. Get Thanks. Okay. So now for the second step, I'm going to use Tranquil Teal, which is a darker teal. Yes, I think Arteza markers would work. They're water-based, so they would work. Okay. So I'm going to show you what this looks like when you add the line art version of the stamp on top. I got to get my head in here. Sorry if it gets in the way. There we go. Whoa. Doesn't that look cool? Very cool. I'm going to stamp the other one, too. I think I'm going to go with the outlines. Do you want to do outlines, too? I think so. It's fairly easy to see. They don't have to be absolutely perfect. That just makes them look more whimsical when they're not perfect. So there's that stamp. Hmm. I think this is the line art version of this one. Yes. Oh, that's pretty. All right. I'm going to do a, a bud, too. So for Tom's um, outlines, here's your outline stamp for, for one of them. He's going to use Passionate Pink. And Passionate Pink will be a really nice complement to that, just like the uh, Tranquil Teal is a nice complement to these blues. And they are pretty easy to see to line them up, so honestly. So if you were going to use a different color to do the outline which one would you use like a different color than that yes um something that was like totally off the wall color totally different than maybe orange or something tangerine i don't orange know orange with that with this no yeah. not with this maybe like wild wisteria because it's got a little blue in it but it's purple that might look nice okay all right i'm, I'm okay, being don't, nosy don't distract me now. all right Trying not to. I look straight down? Yes. You can get real close and just try to line up the lines. That's not going to line up. Really? Well, that's not bad. Has a little, like, a little looking to the side. <laughs> Doing the side eye? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all right. That's part of the, the whimsy. That's what it 
is it's whimsy. Can I have this little bud here? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to do this one again. Oh, here's the, so you can do the outline on the that. Next one. Yeah. Cap that. All right. So you guys, I'm going to do one more here. If you just tuned in and you're a little late, let me give you the quick rundown. So what we're doing here is we're adding texture into the solid image by stamping the image first with solid color. And I'm using sea glass here. And then we're taking a darker marker and we're just doing some lines in one direction. And then we're turning it and doing lines in the other direction just to create, ooh, sorry, texture like that. A darker marker. Well, that looks good. So I need this outline stamp. And it's really, I mean, you, you kind of get used to lining them up a little bit if you've done it a couple of times. But if you're new to this and they don't line up perfectly, it just gives a more whimsical look. So I'm going for whimsy here, I think. <laughs> there we go. See, that's not perfect. That's still going to be pretty. Nice. Okay. So I've got a couple of, um, oh, sea glass cardstock should be back in this week. So if yes. some of those colors are out of stock, like sea glass, I think coral reef, lucky clover, and tranquil teal, um, we just got a huge shipment of all of those in because they're kit colors. And a lot of times people like to buy more of those colors once they've tried them. So we just got a big shipment in and Tom has to cut it because it comes big and he's got to do all the cutting. Now, if you have trouble lining these up, what you might want to do is do the outline first. So I'm going to do that on my next one. That looks good. So I'm going to do a leaf here and I'm going to do the outline in fresh asparagus, which is our darker green. And I'm going to do a couple of these. All right, there's two of those. And then I'm gonna do, there's another leaf here that I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do those in the same outline color as well. And I do this with the green. Yeah, uh, yes. You're gonna do this with fresh asparagus. And I'm gonna do like five leaves, Tom. I don't know. I, I feel like we're gonna need a lot of leaves for our design. Blending brushes should be in closer to the end of April. So I know that's hard to wait. Um, but honestly, we did not. <laughs> I did not think that 30,000 uh, blending brushes would be gone already this fast. I did not plan well. I'm going to get another block. I wonder if this little block will work. I think it will. So I'm going to use this tiny block now, and my lighter color is going to be Lucky Clover, which is one of the colors in the kit. And then I'm going to use this dark green, which is 098 Tombow marker for this. So I'm going to ink this up with Lucky Clover. I like using an ink cube on these tiny blocks. It's a little bit easier to control. But if you don't have them, you certainly can use the big ones. And now I'm going to use this and crisscross. This is going to have like a kind of a yellowy effect to it, but it's really cool. And remember, I always take um, pretty good high quality photographs of my cards and then I post them both on Facebook and on YouTube. I know I got to get black in the mix. I promise black is coming in the mix. Oh, when is black cardstock coming back in stock? We don't have black cardstock. We do somewhere. We do? Okay. So we're going to check all the inventory this week and see if we uh, if there's any that isn't cut. Because I know they don't like to always put things that that are still not cut in stock in case, you know, Tom's not there to cut it for whatever reason. Uh-oh, I got a little bit of smudge. Oh. So that's going to be... Well, you're going to cut those flowers out. Symbolic so. of our... Was that an argument we had yes, back 10 years ago? It is. All right. <laughs> See, and it doesn't, making... <laughs> go, it doesn't go away. You just learn from it and move on. <laughs> but it stays. It's and always it's there. there. You forgive, but you never forget right there. No. <laughs> okay. Well, you can use this one now. 
to fill in. Oh, you need a green marker too. I have another one of these, I believe. Uh, here's another 098, so we can both do this together. Can I borrow your block? Okay. So now I'm gonna go with the... Um, so what goes down first? Uh, Lucky Clover. All right. Lucky Clover first. Uh, Kathleen, no, we don't carry any glossy card stocks. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is an easy technique. It's super fun to do. And that little crisscross thing, it just gives it a really interesting texture, just a little bit different than thumping. And if you don't know what thumping is, just go to my channel and type in the word thumping. I have quite a few videos on that technique. Okay. There we go. <laughs> and I always clean it in between just so that I don't contaminate my little ink cube. So easy and fun. There you go. And you could try different color combinations. I mean, we're doing color combinations that are very close to each other. But if you want to go wild and do something like blue and then add purple or, you know, orange and add red, that would be cool too. Okay. Just so you all know out there. Uh oh. This is not something we expected to be doing in our plans 35 years ago. For our anniversary? <laughs> just in general. Oh, you mean just for a living? Yeah. No. I didn't even know about paper crafting when we got married. I was just a singer in a band. Right? Yeah. I didn't even know about this stuff. I kind of envy the people that get into it young because it's uh, it's so much fun, so much fun. And, um, you know, they just get more years of the fun, I guess. But I don't know that I would have had time to do it when I was young either, like young, young. I, I started doing it in my 40s, early 40s, I think. Okay, so... Um, now the next step is going to be to cut these flowers out and these leaves. Uh, more copper cardstock. I'm not exactly sure. I don't have a date on that, but um, you know, all I can say is anything that's out of stock is on order. And different. We work with a couple different mills for our cardstock because some of the um, some of the mills specialize in metallic type stuff and glittery stuff, and so but it's all on order. All right, so I'm gonna move the die cutting machine in. Oh, I'm glad you love your tidy towel. That makes me so happy. I love the tidy towel. That's so much fun. Uh, La Mas Hermosa Rosa wants to know what Tom's words of wisdom are for a happy marriage. Ooh, what you got, Tom? Oh my. Now well, you're on I was the saving spot. It, I was saving it all for the sentiment. Oh, for the quote? For the words, the sentiments that we're working on. Oh. Tom's words of wisdom to live and die by. Yeah, we usually call those comments. <laughs> like comments, but with a T. <laughs> comments. Uh, let's see. Words of wisdom. I'm waiting too, guys. Well, <laughs> one of them, I guess, is... One of the <laughs> one of the most important words for a long-standing marriage, and it actually, if you go back far enough, the word anniversary has a root in it, back to Old English, I think, and it actually started out anniversary, <laughs> and. So that's a very important concept in being sorry. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See? Anniversary. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. I caught myself. You just have to say sorry. <laughs> so I'm I'm so, real behind here. Should I just leave those blank? No, I think you should do them because we need them. All right. Oh, I here we are. Cut, yeah, I have to cut mine out anyway. But um oh. so the key to a happy marriage is just being sorry. No, <laughs> I, you see, you don't listen. I, I listened. That's that what I got out of it. One of the important words 
in a long-standing relationship because it comes in handy a few times, right? Yes, yes, <sighs> right. Because when this happened right here, this mark right there. Where? Oh, right yeah. there. That's one of the times where. That's all you see when you look at that. That's right. It? You're sorry. <laughs> okay. So all right. I do the bug here. So while you do that, I'm going to cut my flowers out. Is that the only advice you have for happy marriage? Talk? Yeah, I'm working on it. And how about you? Well, Return. let's see. Um, well, I think you get to a certain point in a marriage where <laughs> you get your headaches at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect compatibility. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, what's yours is mine and what's mine is mine. <laughs> respect. <laughs> oh, respect. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Respect. Good one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> All right, so you can see the I'm cutting these flowers out. We're, we're going to keep crafting through this because we don't want anyone to take our advice seriously. <laughs> we have to make sure that we establish this as a crafting show and not a marriage advice show, right? Mm, I'm watching. The numbers might be going down <laughs> if we keep this up. The subscribers, we lose a 1,000 subscribers overnight. <laughs> I did a good camo. Kind of. Oh, you did. I like that. I think support, right? We support. Do we support each other? We do support each other. All kinds of support, <laughs> right? Yes. In need of all kinds of support these days. <laughs> well, you know, it gets like that. All right, so I'm going to cut out my uh, leaves here. It's got yes, little, yes, dear. That's a favorite. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Um. You gotta have more words than that, Tom. By the way, we're still waiting for your stamp set. Your uh, sentiment set for men. Yes. Stamps for men. I wonder if there's any guys watching tonight. Like any husbands watching. Hmm. Anybody's husband watching with you? Or any any guys out there watching? Separate tonight? bathrooms. That's a good one. Separate. Separate bathrooms. Separate a lot of things. Yeah like that separate bathrooms i didn't cut that one very well but i'll i'll hide that one under the flowers a little bit more yeah see no going back yeah you just go with it kind of like marriage <laughs> you just go with it <laughs> no yeah, we've gone with <laughs> we've a few gone. things yeah. gone with the wind and <laughs> we have all right, I'm almost done. I'm gonna give you these so that you have them, but not that, but the flower ones so that you're ready. And then I'll cut out, well, I guess we both can't be cutting out at the same time. I'm almost done mine. This is a little longer of a video tonight, maybe, possibly. Your own time, your own hobbies, although Tom got drafted into this one pretty quickly. <laughs> your own time. Yep. Space. Um, I think the, um, I honestly think though, we're, we're joking around a lot. I honestly think that the most important, um, thing in a marriage is to remember that it's not 50, 50. That's, that's really important that it's not 50, 50, right? What do you mean? It's a hundred, 100, 100. You have to give 100% to the relationship, not just 50-50. It's a full-blown 100, 100, 100. All right, do you want the, this so mm -hmm. you can cut them out? Yes. All right. And be supportive of the, uh, of the little things. And don't, uh, it's not like Hollywood. One at a time I have to do this? Yeah. Well, you don't have to. I mean, you could, if you want to put a couple of them down, you can. I'm just, like, going to play over here and see how I would like to arrange these. I feel like this one should be coming out the top because it's the smallest. And uh, throw some leaves in there. I'm just playing now, so don't 
take this as gospel, what I'm doing over here. I'm, I'm playing because Tom has the die cutting machine. Um, yeah, so you always find a way. You always find a way to make it. And uh, grace. Grace is a great word, and you have to give each other a lot of grace. Boy, this is precision work here. Oh, wow. You're really, you're bold. I like that little layout. Okay. I have to pull it all the way well, you could just lay it right there, lay the top there, and then press it down. There you go. And then hold that down so that they don't shift. Two at a time, Tom. I love it. Move to our front shot so we're cutting these out. Oh. Did it work? Mm -hmm. Let's see. <laughs> wow, so many anniversaries out there. People are celebrating 49th, Charlene. Sometimes 60 40. Yeah, that's true. Look, look at how nicely you cut those out. I want to show everybody. Look at how nice you cut those out. They're perfect. All right. Beautiful. You're all done, huh? I am. Well, I mean, I have the die cutting machine. You couldn't really, we couldn't do it together. Okay. So. So. Does it matter which one goes on top? This one goes on the bottom. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It probably would have mattered if I would have been consistent, but I like to rotate the plates. So Tom and I, um, I think one of the things that, that we did that, I don't know if a lot of people do this or not, but one thing that we did is we were married for 10 years before we had our first child. And that's yes. different, right? It sure is. Because a lot of people have, you know, they get married and they have kids kind of shortly after they get married. Tom and I, uh, we were married for 10 full years. That's how we remember our Alicia's age. <laughs> how long are we married? Okay, yeah. she's 10 years younger. Started so. very early with the separate bedroom, right? <laughs> right into No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So you're going to do three at a time this time. So Tom's cutting three. So yeah. Why um, not? What can happen? What can possibly happen? Nothing. It nothing's going to go wrong. It just makes me nervous that you don't have the plate in the machine. I've got that all taken into consideration. Oh really? Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. All in. That's right. Okay. So. Here we go. I'm going to do the overhead again. Yeah. Tom's working it. Do you want to scroll, scroll through the comments so we can see how many people are shouting not agreeing? At, shouting at us. <laughs> yes, yelling at us. <laughs> Nancy was married nine years before she had her daughter, before they had their daughter. We've got lots of people married six years before they had kids. How does Tom keep a straight face? Um, that's all I have. That's his regular face. <laughs> it's just how it goes. That's the only face he has. <laughs> yep. Sometimes it's 125%. That's right. Um, I wish I knew how to scroll through the comments. I don't know how, but I'll, you want to scroll through for me? Okay. Oh, how's the diet going? How do I like be how do we like being empty nesters? How's the diet going? Oh, Tracy had a honeymoon baby. Whoa. Whoa. Honeymoon baby. Sounds fun. Well, <laughs> part of that sounds fun. <laughs> um uh, Emily wants to know, Tom, do you like making cards? Well, yes. I do. I do. I just don't do it enough. Oops. Why don't you put it up here first? It's oh. just my <laughs> humble opinion. I know sometimes people yell at me when I tell Tom what to do and they say, let him do his own thing. Okay. So I'll tell you, um, how do we like being in em empty nesters? We love being empty nesters. Oh my gosh. It's wonderful to be empty nesters. We, uh, we, come and go as we please. We don't have to worry about anything. Um, both of our kids are very happy and doing well. So, you know, we're happy about that. And uh, I don't know, I like being an empty nester. Yes. A lot. 
Um, how's the diet going? The diet is going good. It's going well, I should say. It's going well. I've lost 22 pounds so far. Um, I'm going to flip to the front camera because I feel like I'm just, I want to look at people when I talk to them. Hey. Um, Nobody out there would like her diet, though. You wouldn't. She, she is on such a Spartan diet. Well, my diet, the way my diet works is um, I have been eating about 1,100 to 1,200 calories a day. And the goal is to burn more calories than I eat because that's the math, right? You have to burn more than, you have to burn more than you put in. So um, I've been doing about 1,200 calories a day and I don't eat anything that comes in a box. So if it's boxed food, I don't eat it. Um, I don't eat anything like frozen from the frozen section. I only eat like chicken and seafood, like fresh. Pick it up. <laughs> He's trying to pick up a die that's on the floor. No, I'm trying to pick up a oh, there what are you trying? Oh, your die cut? Oh. It's <laughs> hard. And then um I so I only eat like fresh fruits and vegetables. I'm not low carb. I eat tons of fruit, so I have a lot of carbs. I eat low yogurt carb. and things like that, but um, but my daughter put it in perspective for me. I was telling Alicia that I had lost 22 pounds and she said, no, we need this. And she said, mom, that's like you lost two overweight Pomeranians. Cause Mishi's like 11 pounds. So I lost two Mishis and I picked that dog up and I realized how heavy he was. And I thought, wow, I lost two of those. I was carrying them around. So yeah. Yeah, I know. You know what, Mindy? I know when when I had kids, your kids' age ages, I don't think I would be able to do it just because you have so many obligations and you're so busy all the time. I think part of being an empty nester for me is the ability to um, be able to spend a little bit more time on self care and working on myself. So I, I wasn't able to do that when I had kids around either. It's kind of a shame. I know there are some people that are really healthy and they, you know, they know how to do that, but I never was. So it's all kind of a new learning experience for me. Okay. So um, we did watch Forks Over Knives and Tom um, yeah, that's, actually, that was very helpful for me. Yeah, that, that uh, that's kind of the diet I'm on. Yeah, forks over knives. Yep, that's so. that's a good one. So we are on like opposite, opposite diets, diets, and that that's interesting. Yeah, but I'm I'm a type one diabetic, and it's I tried going vegan um, with the forks over knives, and I actually struggled a little bit because it was so carb heavy for me that my blood sugar was hard to control, and I found that adding that protein back in. Uh, really did help me a little bit or else I wasn't really able to eat much. So um, Roxanne said, what, no KFC? Mm, and, I haven't had KFC in months. We do get teary eyed. We do. We don't like to drive by KFC. We miss a lot. But I'll we tell you what, if I ever go back to Philadelphia, I'm eating pizza. I'm eating a cheesesteak. I'm in a, go to New York. I'm eating Italian food. I'm eating pasta. I don't care. I'm eating it all. So that's where the diet goes out the window. It's going to be a rough week. <laughs> it is. All right. So do, will you flip over to the overhead for us so I can show them what I'm going to do now? I don't know if you meant literally. No, you don't have to do a flip. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm going to use the forever die. And if you're new to die cutting or you're new to Gina K designs, we do have some very intricate word dies. And when I cut a word die, I like to cut it where the blade is up and the cardstock goes on top. And then I also like to cut it on one side of the die cutting machine or the other. Cutting it in the middle doesn't seem to give you as clean of a cut. So you know what? We're not going to waste cardstock. I am going to put this more like that, even though it's still off to the side, because we're going to be able to use this piece of cardstock. Okay. So, Tom, here's your forever. If you want to pick the the die out of there. And in the meantime, I'm going to use master layouts too. You know what? I finally figured out how to store the master layouts. I'm using stencil pockets now and they fit perfectly. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. I like them. I, mean, I just have to label them. This is master layouts for this one's master layouts too. I like them in the stencil pockets. They're just such big sets that they don't fit on a magnet. And um, these are easy to store. So I'm going to cut this out. This is Master Layouts 2. I'm going to cut the solid one out. 
And we're going to use this. All right. And there is your piece like that, Tom. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to cut another one. I'm going to cut the forever out of the center. And then we'll use that as the backing. So I need this die again. Wait, you didn't clean it out. Anniversary. Can you, can, <laughs> can you, can you reverse the cut die side down on top of cardstock? Well, Marilyn, you can. Um, the reason why I do it this way is because it's such an intricate die that I seem to get a better cut when I do it in this direction. That doesn't mean you can't do it the other way. You certainly can. I just have a little bit better luck having it cut more cleanly. Yes, Shauna, we do sell the pockets. We have the stencil pockets. We have large stamp pockets. We have uh, medium stamp pockets. And we have small stamp pockets. Wow, you really, really opened that up. I never open it up that much. That's almost like a weapon. All right, so I'm gonna cut. That's what you get for letting <laughs> me into your space. <laughs> Tools. <laughs> um, so then I'm gonna use this same piece for my card and I'm gonna cut it out with the second die, the bigger rectangle from Master Layouts too. And then you know what we should do, Tom? We should do a little wood graining for the background. You like the wood grain, right? Yeah. That's like a man thing. <laughs> Trying to relate it to like tools and stain and okay. We might use this again. All right, come back. So we need a just a scrap piece of paper here. So here's one from my rubber band video. And um, we need some white cardstock. And I think the perfect color for wood graining for this is going to be um, soft stone. Let's do some soft stone. We'll do it gray. That'll be really pretty. So I need that piece. So you know how to wood grain, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So Tom's going to tell you how to wood grain. Okay. So we need, we're going to do two different colors or one? I think just one. Just one. Okay. You want to hold the ink pad kind of evenly like this and move with so, uh, kind of even pressure, straight line. I guess you could squiggle a little bit if you, you want to get. Nice. Love it. I need a piece of white card. And stuff. then flip it. You did good and well. Well, All right. well and good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do mine, and I do mine just a little differently than Tom does his. So I hold mine this way instead of Tom held his this way and I hold mine sideways like this. And I don't know why I do that, but I do. And then what I do is when I go down, I tilt it a little bit on the edge of the pad to kind of have a line going through it like, like that. To kind of make it look a little bit like planks of wood. Oh. As opposed to streaks of gray. <laughs> no, that's ink. beautiful. It the, the difference between yours and mine is yours looks like a full cut of wood, and mine looks a little bit more planky, but they both look like wood, right? Yes. So I think they it's two ways to do it. The, the storage pockets are out of stock. Oh my goodness. Well, if they're out of stock, that means they're on order. So stay tuned. Make sure you always hit the wait list button if something you want is out of stock because the minute it goes in, if there's like 500 people on the wait list, they're all going to get an email. You want to be one of those people. All right. So now we're going to get the die cutting machine out again, and we're going to cut these out using this die. So would you like to be the official die cutter? I will be the die cutter. Okay. So I am to cut. There you go. You do these upside down too? Uh, no. 
you could, yeah, you could put that right there and, and you're going to put the die face down on that, the way you did the flowers. So this is, again, we're using Master Layouts 2 for this. I see, I'm just, I'm just catching up on the comments here. So Tom's helping me. What size storage pocket did you use for your, uh, for my stamp sets? For the six by eight stamp sets, use the large. For the four by six stamp sets, use the medium. And for the four by four stamp sets, use the small. And yes, thank you, Donna. Uh, if you can hit the thumbs up button on this video, if you're watching on YouTube, and also if you want to subscribe to our channel, we wouldn't mind that at all, right? I'd love that. So Tom is uh, cutting out the wood grain. He's getting it ready. I see there's a Jessica having a birthday. Happy birthday, Jessica. Yeah, so we just did swiping with ink. We did wood graining. And um, if you don't know how to do this, you can always uh, go out to our channel on YouTube. And there you could search a channel as well as searching all of YouTube. You can search just our channel. And you can type in wood graining and just a million videos will come up. Okay, so um, these are going to get layered together with that black piece where we cut the forever out. We're not wasting anything. You could there. call yours wood graining and mine tire tracks in, gray, in gray mud. <laughs> tire tracks in gray mud? <laughs> All right, <laughs> we'll call yours that. All right, so we're getting through. We're getting through here. It's only a little bit better than horrible. No, it's much better than horrible. <laughs> better than horrible, honey. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to um, tape these together. Here's a tape runner for you. I'm going to, oh, here's your flowers. They're actually my flowers, though, because that's my card. Um, so if you're just joining us or you joined us late, Tom and I are actually, it's our anniversary today. We've been married for 35 years, and we are making each other the same card, but he's making mine in pink, and I'm making his in blue, and this is going to be our anniversary cards to each other. So, okay, so I need your help, guys. I am going to be using this color. Here, I'm using these flowers. So I wanna know which card base color you like better with it. Do you like Tranquil Teal? Or do you like Sea Glass? Which one? Let's get some opinions on, on, uh, on my option there. Let's see. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All the beautiful anniversary wishes. Yeah, we figured, you know, <laughs> why not make them here live with you guys? Uh, the stamp pockets that I used for the master layouts dies, these are our stencil pockets. So they're not stamp pockets, they're our stencil pockets. Same thing, just the size fits our stencils perfectly. And they also fit the master layouts really well. Okay, teal, yeah, more masculine. Okay, I got it. I got, that's, that's good. All right, I'm going to make it in tranquil teal. I know sea glass looks really pretty too. Um, but I'll, I'll go with Tranquil Teal for this one. And my last card, I think I used Sea Glass. So, okay. So, Tom, you have to pick now. You have to pick which color. Do you want Passionate Pink for me or Dusty Rose? What's the uh, what's the verdict on that one? Dusty Rose. Let's see what people think. Hmm. Hmm. We're watching your comments come in for this. Oh, there's a lot more of the light going on than the dark. That's true. That's true. You want to bump the comments because they're coming in. Okay. Dust, a lot of dusty rose. A few passionate pinks. Dusty rose. Hmm. That's bold. That is bold. Like you. Like me? I don't know. Yeah. Oh boy, hard decision. I'm thinking that one. You like that one? No, uh, it's about 50 50. 50 50? Yeah. I think I see a little more passionate pink. Yeah, see, some people are even changing their minds a little bit after they've seen them. 
I think the passionate pink, maybe it pops a little bit more. They're both really pretty. But you kind of said, oh, I kind of like the bold. So why don't you go with the bold? Going with the bold. But you got to put your black layer there too first. Yes. Oh, okay. that's going to change everything. Oh, it might. Yeah. Do you want to get your black layer and see what it looks like? This? Yeah, that's your black layer. Just to see how it looks. I like your wood graining. Your tire tracking. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it looks like a scene from Blair Witch Project. <laughs> hey, can you slide over so I can get something out of this drawer? Like way over? All right. Okay. I'm thinking that we could do something with these ovals. I love these ovals. I feel like I want to do the... Oh, I almost took your knee off. We could use a circle, but I pre-cut I pre all these ovals for a class. Look at how terrible I cut that one. That's all right. We're going to use it anyway. Make no waste. It does look like a stand of gray, gray trees. Yours does, Tom. It kind of looks like gray trees. It does. So if we put this here... And then we do the forever, like draped across like this. And then we kind of lay out the flowers up here. That might be a pretty layout. And then just stamp the greeting right on there. What do you think? Well, that looks beautiful. All right. We're, that's what I'm going to do. So you want to just do the same as me? I think you should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have to, but... Yes, dear. See, that's one. That's one. Perfect marriage. That's what makes a marriage last. That phrase. Yes, dear. I like that. Yeah, we waited to make our cards. I know some people, um, depending on where you're watching, we can see the, the comments comes in on our main screen from both YouTube and Facebook. So we might answer a comment and you don't see it because you're watching on the opposite um, platform, but we can see them all. So Tom, yes, he put black behind the gray. I put black behind my gray. <laughs> Here we go. And I'm going to put this right on to my card base there. I always use that little black. I, sh I say always, but you guys know there's a few times that I didn't, and it was almost like shocking. We, we all didn't know how to act. And then I think the oval in the center there... So before we place this, what greeting do you want to use from this set? This is where it becomes personal. So let me get a piece of cardstock so we can look at these greetings here. How about are we there yet? <laughs> That's the greeting for my anniversary. <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> okay. So... Best friends forever. That's true. Forever and always. That's a long time. Always and forever. Always and forever. But no. And it's always been, forever. Uh, love you forever. Forever in my heart. Forever and ever. Forever my love. Forever grateful <laughs> that you stuck with me. <laughs> what do you think? What, what do you want to do? I like forever my love. You do? You like forever my love? Forever my love. Oh, that's so nice. I think I'll do... You keep taking my tape. I think I'll do forever and ever. And ever. Your tape. And They're ever. all on your side. <laughs> I keep taking your tape <laughs> that you have all on your side. So we'll put the, we'll put the overhead shot back in just a minute, but... While we're just gluing this oval down, we don't need to do it right away. Okay. So you see how I did mine? I, I have mine up just a little higher. So I have a little room at the bottom to stamp that greeting. What, what happened? <laughs> what do you think happened? It's crooked? Yeah. Disappointing. 
<laughs> there you go. There it is. You only left out the word so in front of it. So disappointing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring back to the overhead so you don't have to see me dying laughing. Okay. You just hear me. All right. So what's next? Did you well, put that on or you put it right center, right? No. Or a little bit up. I put a little higher because I thought if I put the forever here, kind of going across like that, then I would be able to put the little greeting down here. Forever, Tom, yours looks like soft granite. My love. Julie said. It does. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. Perfect. Hey, do you want to scroll the comments real quick? Got it. Okay. All righty. Let's forever. see. Now this forever. All the storage pockets are sold out. You've been waiting for medium for months. I'm so sorry. I don't know why it's taking so long to get those. I will check on that first thing in the morning. I promise. Okay. So forever. I think I'm going to stamp this freehand. Do you want to use the Misty or are you... Brave. Free hand, baby. All right. So forever and ever, I'm using. I had like five leaves here, and I have one. <laughs> Where they and go? Then... Are they all over the floor? No. How did you lose all your leaves? Oh, my goodness. See, it never <laughs> pays to craft with me. <laughs> you did. You cut five leaves out, and you're down to none. You have one leaf. Wow. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm getting one leaf on my card. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. That sounds not like a good thing. You you were cleaning. I didn't I didn't throw your leaves away. Okay, we're gonna get in a fight on our anniversary. <laughs> now I'm looking everywhere for leaves. You keep any extras close by? No, I don't have any extras. Oh my goodness. Right. This never happens. Are they in your shirt pocket? No. <laughs> I don't see them. Wow. Did they get stuck in the die cutting machine? <laughs> no. All right. I'll share my leaves with you. There you go. We'll do a different layout. If anybody saw what happened to the leaves. Yeah. Can you say something? Yeah. Maybe somebody saw them fall or something. I'll never leaf you. That was a good one. <laughs> Share the leaves, oh, Gina. Man. Share the leaves. All right. Oh, my whole project Someone is different now. Give time. See, they all think you took. Them. I did not take his leaves. I really didn't take his leaves. Did I, I take? Did I take your leaves? See, you're doubting. I'm doubting myself now because they're accusing me. But I think there's a possibility <laughs> that I did. Uh, like, just like a whirlwind vacuum. <sighs> All right. Okay, so that's the thing that happens between husbands and wives, where things end up in the trash <laughs> that you haven't finished eating. <laughs> right? Or things that end up in the other person when you haven't finished eating. Like, you going to eat that? It happens sometimes. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Well, it still happened. You're just still hanging on to that, huh? I am. That's like the little mark uh, on your flower. It never goes never away. It goes away. So, all, the... all right. If I just do two flowers like that, it's a little dull, but... All that work just... Here, you can have these flowers. I will share my flowers with you. Maybe I'll do just a big flower at the top. How's that? Okay, we're running out of time. Oh, we're not. It's not like network. I'm speaking metaphorically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So if I put the forever here, I'm going to put the forever up over the flowers. Forever and ever. Do these flowers have a top and a bottom? Yes, they do. The ruffles are at the top. See, I really need help with my flowers here. How is, how, how? Honestly, Tom, if we 
get off this live and all the leaves are like right here. I'm going to scream. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make you redo your cards so I can have my leaves back. <laughs> okay. So this is what's happening here with mine forever. Now I'm not sure because I think I'm going to go with in my heart instead. Wait, which one did you want? Forever is a long time. <laughs> Eternity is a long time. <laughs> Forever in my heart. I'm going to put in my heart down here. So I need a black ink pad. I'm just going to do my greeting. Oh, wish me luck. You know, I always get nervous. I always feel like I have to just test it once to make sure it's going to stamp right. Okay, it's stamped right. Then it doesn't stamp right. You're like, oh, I wasted the one time that it was going to stamp right. All right, here we go. Her forever in my heart. There we go. Okay. So what greeting did you want? Forever. Um, my love. My love. My love. Where are your leaves, my love? All right. Forever here. So one thing that I tell people is if you're working on a card like this, one thing you can do if you like the layout, you can take a picture of it with your smartphone, like your iPhone or your um, whatever kind of phone that you have. And then when you can take it apart and you can use your picture as a guide so you don't forget how you had it laid out. I had it upside down. Oh, well, you would have seen that when you inked it up, I hope. You would think. You would. One would. One would. <laughs> all right. So did you connect all this stuff before you? Oh, the, the okay. That's connected already. Yeah. So here it is. All right. I'm nervous. All right, Tom, you're not even in the camera. All right. Yeah. Everybody's going to see this. Everybody's going to see what happens. Okay. Dead center. Okay. Properly inked. This is it. The whole future of our marriage rides on this. Isn't that? Terrifying. Oh, thank God we can stay together. <laughs> okay, so now the flowers go on? Yeah, now the flowers go on. Well, you should glue the whole thing together first. I'm gluing. Or taping. Okay, let's drop that lid. Okay, I am inky. So I'm going to start assembling my card, my flowers. So I'm going to do my leaves first. I'm going to leave my flowers where they are and slip my leaves under. Well, almost. See that one jump out? Just kind of want to know where around where they should be. How's it going over there, my love? Great. Yeah, I think this one's going to go down just a little bit more. Okay. We're getting there. Check the drawer. See, I bet they're in the drawer. I bet they're in the drawer. I'm going to pop my flowers up, which means I have to look in the drawer. Can I look in the drawer? I don't see them. They're in the trash. Them. They're in the trash, you think? I think. I did not throw your flower, flower, your leaves in the trash. Hey, I'm using some of the ThermoWeb foam squares. So I'm going to... You know, I think I'm going to move this leaf. I've got time to move it. I want that under there. Okay. So we're going to start with one in the center of this flower. Put that there. And then I'm going to use one in the center of this flower. How you doing, hon? I think I'm okay. All right, good. That one here. There we go. Whew, okay. And then I'm going to get a little scrap of paper. I know I have one. I was screaming the other night on my live because I thought people couldn't hear me and I actually was wearing a microphone. So that was very embarrassing. <laughs> I'm going to use some of the Gina K Designs Connect glue. 
And these holders are coming back in stock. We did sell out of these, but more are coming. And if you haven't seen these before, the Connect Glue, um, what you do with it is you push the cap into this holder. And then you can hold on, it's very ergonomic, you can hold on to the bottom and you can turn the glue and the cap stays in there. This way your cap doesn't get lost like Tom's leaves. It, I, I realize right now how important that is because how easy it is to lose things. And then I'm gonna put my forever right here and I'm really just gonna glue the O to the E down. That's what I'm gonna glue down. So to do this, I'm going to squirt a little connect glue out. And then I'm just going to use my finger. And I'm going to tap the glue. That was a lot of glue. Just like that. And don't worry if it gets on the front because it goes on white, but it dries clear. Oh my word, I have glue everywhere. I'm going to put that right like that. Here we go. And there's my card. Now you could glue it like up there. You can always just take a little glue on your finger and just dab it in places that you want to secure down. But I didn't want to do the whole thing because parts of it are raised and parts aren't raised. So... Okay, this has got me at a standstill. Okay. What happened? Couldn't get the sticker off. The... Oh, yeah, that sometimes, sometimes is a thing. There we go. All right. So there's my finished card. And I'll take a close-up picture so you guys can see how all the texture looks on here from the technique that we did tonight. All right, Tom's gluing off to the side there. Almost dad yours. Oh my God. <laughs> this is your card, honey. I'm going to write something really nice inside. Well, that looks pretty. Well, yours came out so nice, Tom. Oh, they're cute. Actually, I like that you used all three of your flowers, the way you use them. They look really good. All right. They look super good. So shall we scroll through the comments and see if anybody's left? <laughs> if anybody stayed? <laughs> We're losing a few. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's our two finished cards. And uh, we'll sign them and we'll give them to each other after we're done. We'll have a glass of fruit salad. <laughs> yeah. Well, a glass of fruit salad after this. And Woo! You doing all right? 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> Did this project age you at all? It aged me a little tonight. Still trying to figure out where. Happy anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary. Mwah. It's so nice. Still deciding if I should put this other flower up here. You guys think I should add that last flower up there? Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. Maybe I'll do that. Because I went through all the work, you know? We'll do that. We'll just stick it in there. There we go. Okay. Well, this was so much fun. It was really great to have all of you guys join us for our anniversary tonight. And yes, Tom, you did a great job. Everybody loves your card. I think, Barbara, you might be right. It might be stuck to the bottom of that die cutting machine. We're going to find them. If we find them, we're going to announce it on Thursday's live where we found them. And Thursday, we will be back in the afternoon, right? We're going to do a lunchtime live. Yes. Yeah. So that'll be a lot of fun. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. We love spending time with you. Uh, we will be thank you. we will be back on Thursday at noon central time. So we hope you'll join us then. We'll be doing another kit project. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot with this kit. And also make sure you check out our illustrators YouTube channels. 
We've got Melanie Menchinger and Lisa Hetrick who have YouTube channels. Check out Hannah on Instagram. Instagram, her uh, her handle is Hanlyn, H-A-N-L-Y-N art. She does a lot of tutorials over on Instagram. And of course, all of our design, our guest designers and Mindy Egan, who is in our on our video team, Karen Hightower, Kathy Tidwell, who are our moderators and uh, Karen has a YouTube channel. So check out all of the inspiration featuring our new release. It's pretty amazing out there. So, all right, we will be back on Thursday. Until then, thank you guys so much for spending our anniversary with us. We love you. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.